now YouTube has essentially said, well, you've got no chance. We still want you to give us content. They're now essentially saying to us people, well, we don't think you're worth anything. They're taking away the potential. A lot of the videos I've seen uh, about this problem and why YouTube fairly suddenly implemented it, made it harder for people, uh, circles around uh, Logan Paul. I've only heard the name, so last night um, I went searching. What is this thing I heard about, the um, adpocalypse? Where, um, well, actually now I've seen it, um, it wasn't on his channel, I believe he probably deleted it, or YouTube did. But of course there are people that have copied it and put it up there for people to see. So I watched it to find out for myself. Uh, from start to finish, didn't see the body that was blurred out, and that's fine. I don't want to see it. I've seen them. Um, not my favourite thing. He actually starts off the video, which of course was edited by him before he uploaded it, saying, uh, because of the sensitivity of this topic, and he did put a warning there, Um, that he wasn't monetizing the video. That's what he said. I'm not monetizing this video for obvious reasons. Uh, not having watched at the time, which was a few months ago, um, I can't tell you if it was or wasn't. But it does make me question what the big um, kerfuffle was about then. Uh, YouTube uh, said that the advertisers you know, went crazy they they pulled their advertising because it was connected with a video that was connected to his um, suicide forest in Japan video um, so if there weren't ads how were the advertisers uh, upset by this and why did YouTube go into recovery mode um, yep yeah. please leave your comments below if you actually saw the video at the time Okay, so I watched it, and I, all right, Logan Paul isn't someone I would watch. I think he's a bit of a deal overall. YouTube refers in their blog at least three times uh, that this measure will hopefully avoid bad actors. Um, now, I didn't know what the hell it meant either. Now I'm starting to work it out, which is why I went to look at Logan Paul's video. Um, I kind of take a bit of offence at that, as like one of the things I do uh, is paid, usually acting. Um, so basically, professional acting, to be honest. Uh, not egotistical. It is what it is, and I love it. Um, so I kind of take it a, a bit personally because what I watched, yeah, okay, maybe it's hard to know the uh, whether people with him and himself uh, over as goes big eyes of the cat. Were they, um, hello big guys, were they overreacting, was it slightly put on, I don't know. What I do know through life experiences and, you know, certain qualifications I have, is that people do react in quite unpredictable ways when faced with something extremely traumatic like that, or they can, they don't necessarily. Personally, I am pretty good coping with emergencies. Um, I know that because one of the jobs I used to do often involved that. Um, but some people just, yeah, they, they don't know how to react because they haven't, as he said, oh, he's never seen a dead body before. Um, they don't know how to react and consequently, maybe they did just go a little bit too hyper. Uh, so was it staged? Um, I certainly wouldn't call what he did acting and looking at the video all the way through um, look, I don't like his silly hat that he put on I wouldn't say that um, he he acts I did see the follow-up video or I don't know if there's one before that I believe there was um, but I did see the video on his channel his apology and uh, in all honesty yeah, he definitely seems sincere. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned, and the reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered. Uh, none of us knew how to react. 
or how to feel. I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down and stopped recording what we were going through. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. And for that, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. I do not think that was acting. Um, I'm pretty good at picking that. I don't think it was acting. Now, the motive, whether it was um, obviously because of the reaction that was had by YouTube and the YouTube community, which again makes me think, well, why was there this reaction? It may have been in poor taste. Um, just watching the video, they were going through the forest, they were going to camp in the haunted forest for a night. Um, that's okay, people do that, I guess, maybe not there, but... Um, yeah, I, I don't think it was staged. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in uh, the first time I've ever mentioned Logan Paul because I um, had only heard of his name as being one of the most high-earning uh, YouTubers. I don't know why. But anyway, um, that's just my opinion, okay? If you know differently, please leave a comment because uh, I'd like to know. Please subscribe. Stay happy. The world's not over. Okay, it's just an entertainment platform at the end of the day uh, for 99% of us. <laughs> See ya and um, have a good day. Bye.